Right, I'm just before I end up going back down near where I was, which I'm not sure yet. I've got a feeling I've seen this track. I'm not sure if I did though. But um, I've just noticed a sign, look. I mean, I did see a track, but I didn't take any notice. See that sign? So what I'm going to do is just want to go up here a little bit. Because I, I've been following a sign that uh, was skirting the wood. But you weren't allowed in the wood. I appreciate that. I've just seen a load of cows being fed through there. There's a lot of old barns there. And there is a very overgrown pathway. But what I, I'll follow that path there. And it's good to know for another time. It's good to know for another time. Private, beware. What's that say? Shoot in progress. <laughs> they want to shoot everyone here, don't they? I just want to go up here a bit. Because there was that little cottage at the other side of this cornfield. This maize field. Yeah, looks like somebody hangs about there, doesn't it? That looks like a nice little... Somebody's little den in there. And it looks used. I get some views of the... The wood from here as well, from a different angle. I'm not going to go far. Obviously, I've got a long way home, so... But this is handy to know for another time, because there was a track this side, but I wasn't quite sure. Anyway, I've done well. And there probably is another track further over there as well. So let's just come up to this corner. We just go up to that gate and take some photos. Then we'll turn back, because I've got a long way home. This is an all-day walk, though. This is an all-day walk. I don't want to go too far back on myself. But you can actually see the... I was I walked the other side of that wood earlier after looking at the Druid's Grotto and, and Temple. And uh, I just wandered through the wood. I was exploring. You just go anywhere. Uh, with, with safety in mind. So obviously this path here, this is the, probably the one that will take me to Winscombe. Um, it'll take me to probably Bramwell. It might even be the one that will link up on the route I want to get to, which is the other Bramwell Castle area. So I'm not going to do all that today. This is the next, this is the next bit of exploring going up here. I reckon it'll take me to Banwell this way and then to the castle. That's what I want to do. So, there we are. So we're going to go back now and find out where this exactly goes. Good view of the wood from here. I'm going to turn off a minute and take a picture. It's a bee after me. Right then. When I first arrived around this little bit here, I noticed a sign on that pole there. I don't know if I was videoing, but I noticed that sign. And I thought, oh, it must mean further up. So what it is, I didn't go up there. I come from there, right? I seen that. I thought, no, they wouldn't put the sign on after the turning, would they? So I went up, and it's a good job I did, as I would have missed the Druid's temple and all that, and I would have missed all that walk that I'd done. But this is a public path that will take me to Banwell in a different way. So this is, this next time I come, which might not be that long, week or so, I will go that way. It might not even be a week. Probably will be. Probably will be. I will go up there. That's the plan now. Now we know, now we've learnt. But if I had thought, yeah, that's the way up in the beginning, I would have missed the Druid's part. All that that I videoed earlier would have been missed completely. So in a strange sort of way, 
just following your sort of instinct you uh, you find stuff you find stuff now I'm going back down towards the motorway which I came up with which I came up with earlier okay came up here earlier this road was actually also quieter which was in my favour because they're obviously doing some sort of work here and they'd um, shut the road off but people are still, some people are still using that, but they might live here. But fortunately for me, and this, this did worry me at one point, this road, because um, I thought it was dangerous. This is a road that will take you across that bridge further up to Christon and Bamwell. So that track up there that I'll do another time, that's the one I'm going to take to go to Bamwell another time. So, I've done part of the experiment today. Um, it would have been too much to have done it all. I wouldn't have been able to do it. Yeah, see? But there's some people that's risked to go in there. Yeah, that would have been quite a dangerous road for me to go on. Now, it was quieter today because of the, what's ever happening. Right? So that little track further up will be a godsend for me when I do it again. And in theory, you could go all the way there, go to Winscombe and come back that way and do another completely different loop. Here's a horse I spoke to earlier. Oh yeah, I'm back. All right. Hello, baby. Hello. Hello, darling. You all right? So I say hello on the way home. Bye bye then. They've turned around those people. Now fortunately for me, I know where I'm going now. Going up towards the plantation. It is quite a bit of a, but it's not a steep climb. Now here's this Bramley Cottage we have here, which is also known as Housekeeper's Cottage. Two names, and what that Bramley up there and Housekeeper's here. And here we have the bridge again. It's funny how you notice things different on the way back, like that little feature there, look. See? That's for parcels, probably. way again. I'm crisscrossing this motorway all the time I am. All the time. Okay, I 
never got in the middle of the wood, but there were lots of signs warning. I did a little bit though. Saw a deer. track in a minute. Back where I started earlier. There's a little path there that probably leads you to Hutton. If there's lots of pathways here but anyway I'm going back the way part of the way I came. Except not exactly. What I'm gonna do It's got up around the other side of the um, plantation. I think I'm going to do that way. I'm not sure yet. Might go about the same way. Can't decide. Uh, no, I'll go, I'll go. I just got to decide whether I want to go home on a bus or not. But you haven't got that. You could get another bus if you wanted to, Sheila. You could go to Hutton the way you came, two hours from here, if you want to. Otherwise, you're talking four hours walking home. Always difficult decisions, these are. It's a lovely summer's day. There's no reason for me to have to catch a bus. It's only half past two. I haven't put my hat on yet because I'm going into the wood. I've been in the wood a lot. Right then, everyone, I'm going to turn off for a little while now. Over and out. <laughs>